To use the foot controller, insert the plug of the cord securely into the controller plug socket located in the right side of the sewing machine. The machine receptacle for the power cord is located in the right side of the sewing machine next to the controller plug socket. Turn on the power switch. Set the power switch to I. The sewing machine can be stopped and started by using the foot controller. The machine begins operating when the foot controller is pressed and stops when the controller is released. The color of the start-stop button indicates the status of the machine. Green indicates that the machine is ready to sew or currently sewing. Red indicates that the machine is not ready to start. While pressing the reverse switch button, machine sews reverse or lock stitch, and the machine will stop when the button is released. After sewing, press thread trimming button to trim both the needle and the bobbing threads, and the needle stops at upper position. Thread trimming function is also built in this foot controller. You can trim threads by stepping on the heel side of the foot controller. The needle position will change by pressing the needle up-down button while the machine is stopped. When the needle is in up position, the needle moves down, and when the needle is in down position, the needle moves up. While sewing, the speed can be adjusted by sliding the speed controller. Slide the speed controller to the right to sew faster and to the left to sew slower. When you turn on the machine, the LCD screen indicates number one, straight stitch of the center needle position. Use the pattern selection buttons below the screen to select a pattern. The screen shows the number of the stitch pattern and the marking of the presser foot to be used. Choose a pattern selection mode by pressing one of the pattern selection mode by switching buttons. With direct select, you can select among 10 of the most commonly used patterns. While select by number allows you to select other patterns by number. One point patterns letters allows you to choose a combination of patterns. When you choose your desired stitch pattern, the machine automatically displays the standard stitch width and stitch length. To adjust these settings manually, use the zigzag width and stitch length adjusting dials located below the screen. When you stop the sewing operation, the needle generally stops in down position. However, you can change this position by pressing the Needle Stop Position Switching button. As you can see, the accessory parts are neatly stored in the auxiliary bed. For free arm sewing, remove the auxiliary bed. For free motion sewing or attaching a button, Remove the auxiliary bed and move the drop feed knob to the right side to lower the feed dog. A wide table can also be attached to the sewing machine. Pull the feed out from the bottom of the table until they snap securely into place. Fit the table over the top of the free arm of the sewing machine. Adjust the height of the feet so that the top surface of the table is flush with the body of the sewing machine. Turn the power switch off before replacing the presser foot. Raise the presser foot. Press the presser foot releasing button to remove the presser foot. To attach the new presser foot, align the pin on the presser foot and the groove on the presser foot holder. Carefully lower the presser foot holder with the presser foot lifting lever. Use the knee lifting lever to raise and lower the presser foot without using your hands. To attach the knee lifting lever, align the tabs on its base end with the notches in the knee lifting lever hole located on the lower right of the machine and then insert. Push the knee lifting lever to the right to raise the presser foot and back to the left to lower the presser foot. 
In case the thread tension is not correctly set, adjust the tension by using the thread tension adjustment dial which is located under the cover on the top of the machine. You can adjust the presser fit pressure according to the thickness and type of fabric to be used. Turn the presser fit pressure adjustment dial located inside the top cover. For normal sewing, set the presser fit pressure adjustment to 5. When sewing lightweight synthetic fabrics, stretchy fabrics, or appliques, which fabrics may shift during sewing, Set the presser fit pressure adjustment dial to a smaller number to reduce pressure.